guys, welcome back to Student Style. Today, we're going over how to dress in the rain. We're gonna go over casual styles and formal styles. All right, guys, let's get right into it. So the first thing that you guys want to look for is a hoodie just like this one. Not necessarily the color or the brand, but you wanna make sure that it's fitted like mine. You can get colors like gray, blue, black, Colors like that are going to be versatile so you can wear it with more things. This hoodie is great because obviously it has a hood to protect your hair from the rain so you don't look like Gatsby. Another item that you can wear formally or informally, your choice is going to be a raincoat. The raincoat is great because you can wear it dressed up with a suit to protect your suit or you can wear it to look like a flasher, AKA casually. But really, this looks absolutely great whenever you're pairing it with a casual outfit. It's going to be able to protect more than a hoodie, not your hair necessarily, but it's going to be able to protect some of your pants that a hoodie wouldn't be able to do. It's also gonna be more breathable than a hoodie that is gonna be lined with wool. This is not lined with wool. It is uh, very breathable, so it's going to keep you from getting, again, really hot, and it's gonna keep you from sweating more than the hoodie. Uh, so it doesn't mess up your hair. Again, you have to get this fitted because if you don't, it's gonna be really boxy, really baggy. It's gonna kill your image. You don't want that. You wanna find this jacket in blacks, blues, grays, and khaki. Now, I would recommend getting khaki uh, because that's gonna go with more suits than your blacks, blues, and grays because if you have a navy suit and you get a navy jacket, uh, then it's gonna clash. Or if you get a navy suit and a black coat, then some people say that looks like a bruise and it clashes. So that's something to look out for. One styling tip that I would recommend whenever you're uh, buying one of these jackets is make sure that it's double-breasted. So what that means is that it's going to fold over, as you can see, just like that. Another thing that's really great about the raincoat is that it has a little cinch on it that is going to be able to outline your physique and make you look better and make you look more manly because of that V taper. Let's just say that you don't have a hoodie and you don't want to go buy one. You want to buy something cheap to protect your hair. Well, the best thing to get is a hat. Now, you've seen me wear these before in my videos. Uh, they're just going to be ball caps. They're going to be able to protect your hair. Uh, they may not do the best job, but you want to get something like a western hat or a ball cap, you don't want to have something like this. So, in some other style channels, which I'm not knocking them at all, but for us younger men, we don't want to have a fedora. Obviously, this may come to some of you as duh, but I went out and I bought a fedora because I thought, hey, fedoras might be pretty cool. I may want to try one out, sort of, you know, feel it out, but really, it hasn't, it, I mean, I paid $50 for this hat, and I haven't been able to wear it as much as I like. Wearing it to school was probably the biggest uh, <laughs> downside because I got called um, Inspector Gadget, especially with that coat, Inspector Gads Gadget, uh, Dick Tracy, um, a uh, private detective. I got called every name in the book because of this hat. Another thing that's bad about this is that it's made out of wool. So what happens whenever you wear wool in the rain? Obviously, it traps in the heat, it doesn't let it get out. So therefore, it makes you sweat more, and the humidity rises, and it just makes your hair go flat. So that's another thing to look out for. Don't buy a wool fedora. What I would recommend to protect your hair whenever you're dressed up is actually going to be an umbrella. Now, I don't have one uh, on me to show you right now, but a nice umbrella that will be really fancy whenever you click the button and it goes up and it opens out, and then you press the button again, and it will like defold. Um, you want to find that one just because they're really cool and it'll go along with your dress up outfits. Um, you want to find a small one that will fit into a bag if you can. If not, uh, the larger umbrellas are going to be a bit more uh, hard to carry around, especially like in school. You can't put them in your locker. So definitely try to find a smaller um, umbrella. So we have absolutely killed it with our style game whenever we're in the rain. One more thing you need to look out for is what type of shoes you're going to be wearing whenever you're out in the rain. So as you've seen before, I threw on a pair of sneakers, I tight rolled them two times, and I'm wearing no-show socks. You need to wear no-show socks whenever you're out in the rain, or really wearing these sneakers in general, because one, they're going to protect your feet from getting blisters, and uh, two, they're going to be more comfortable whenever you're soaking wet. You definitely do not want to have your feet sticking to your shoes and it's going to be really moist in there 
and you want to just have a little layer to protect your feet. If you don't think that the no sock look is good, then maybe you want to wear a regular pair of socks. That's totally cool. I'm into the whole like rolling it up. If you don't like that, whatever. Wear a regular pair of socks. As for whenever you're dressed up, I'm going to dress up a pair of jeans real quick. I would recommend definitely putting on a great dress boot. What this is going to do is it's going to be a shoe that you are going to wear out in the rain that you can still dress up with the suit, but it's not going to be a dress shoe that can get ruined out in the rain. So guys, there you have it. If you get these items and you wear them appropriately, then you're going to be looking absolutely dynamite and you're going to feel like a million bucks. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And also, uh, give me a video idea down in the comments section below. I'll probably get to it and actually do a video about it. This video is actually inspired by a comment which someone requested me to do down in the comments sections. If you didn't like the video, dislike it and tell me why. But anyway guys, I'm gonna leave it there. I'll see you in a bit.